hello guys welcome to another video from soft world institute of technology today i'm going to show you five things you can do on the computer simple things that you can do number one is how to change your computer name number two how to turn your laptop into a hotspot number three how to change the date on the computer and some other settings Number four, how to change your wallpaper. Number five, how to set up a screensaver. So guys, let's get into the video and please remember to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification so that every time I release a video, you'll be the first to know. Let's get into the video. One, how to change your computer name. It's simple. You can do, go to search. Look for my computer. On my machine is this PC. On Windows 7, it could be my computer. Just look for my computer. Right click on it. And then click on properties. You get a screen like this. So, you go to computer name, domain, and work group settings then you can click on change settings change settings click on change settings and then the first tab that is open you will go down to change change you can see that is written to rename this computer or change its domain or work group click change so I'll click on change and then you can change your computer name from here. Just type a new name. Uh, SIT. Uh, you can type Softworld Institute. Institute of Technology. Technology. And then once you are done, you click on OK. And that is it. OK, once you are done, click on ok oh it's telling me there cannot be space so make sure you don't leave any space so I can just leave it at soft world tech soft world tech that's one word you click ok good so it gives you a message you must restart your computer to apply these changes before restarting save any open files and close all programs that is it so I click OK and then I click close then it tells me I have to restart because I don't want to restart now I click on restart later but if you want to restart now for your changes to take effect then you can click on restart now but I will do restart later so that we can do our next then let's learn our next next trick so we start later so that is how you change your computer name you go to or you look for my computer and then you right click on it you go to properties it will give you a window like this you click on change and then you get this and then you click on change again then you can go ahead and change your computer name so that is that So next is how to turn your comp your laptop into a hotspot. Very simple, very simple. To do that, just look for the control center. This usually happens on Windows 10. Just look for the control center, click on it, which is in the right corner, right down corner. You click on it right here like this you click on it and it appears and then you can come here you see um you see mobile hotspot mobile hotspot then you just click on it and then that is it your hotspot is done those days when we're using windows 7 you have to download a third party software to be able to make this happen but now windows 10 has incorporated it so you can just go to mobile hotspot you click on it and then your hotspot is on 
and then I can right click on it to go to settings so I go to settings so you can see mobile hotspot is here and then there are a few things you can do you can edit the password click to edit and then you can change the password you can change the name of the hotspot to anything that you want then you save it so that is it the next one is how to change the date on your computer how to change the date on your computer so you move to the right down corner of the screen where the date is displayed where the date and time is displayed you can double click on it to view the date you can also right click on it and then click on adjust date adjust date so adjust date we go there a few settings set type automatically set time zone automatically and then change date sync now so these are settings that you can use if you say set time automatically the computer will set its own time based on your location or it will set its time zone based on your location currently i'm in ghana so i set I put off the set of time automatically, I put them off and then I set them manually myself. So the first one is how to change the date. So you click on change date and then when you come here you can select the month, select the day and then you select the year. Then um, the time you can do the same thing, you set the time here and then when you finish you click on change that, that is done. Now when you say sync now sync now means you are syncing your time to windows.com time.windows.com which will determine your time which i don't use anyway so i set my time zone to edinburgh <laughs> dublin edinburgh lisbon and london that corresponds to our uh, ghana time you can also adjust for daylight saving it's mostly used in the outside world in America and stuff like that where time can be adjusted based on the the daylighting or how quickly night falls and all that so that is that this is how you can change your date and time it's as simple as ABC next is how to change your wallpaper it's even easier now to change my wallpaper all I can do is to is to Get a picture i want to use as my wallpaper over here i think i have a folder where i put some wallpaper photos so i'll just look for them in my folder go to drive c go to this folder and then i look for wallpaper here yeah, right here i have a few wallpaper so example i have my favorite programming language python so i just right click on it and set as desktop set as desktop so in a few moments you see that the screen will change set as desktop that's change it's as easy as, as abc i can change it again to another python change and you see changed so that is how it is done as simple as possible very easy no very very easy Okay, so I think about my favorite logo. Uh, that is it. The software logo. Software logo. Now, um, the next thing is screen saver. How to change your screen saver. So, right click anywhere on your desktop. Right click anywhere on the desktop. And then I'll go to personalize. Personalize. This is where you can personalize. And you can also change your desktop here the first one I showed was very easy so you can also change your desktop here you come here background picture you can use solid color you can use a color but I want the color to be used and I can choose any color and change any color at all you want I use it in any color 
any color you can also select slide shoe that is what we are coming to see that is a screen saver but for now let's look at picture where you can also change your desktop picture So I can change my desktop just by clicking on the picture, just like that. Got it. I got it. I can do this. I can do that. I can go back to my favorite picture, and that is it. It's as simple. You can also browse. <coughs> Sorry. To any folder and pick any picture you want. I'll also do that. So now let's look at the screen saver. Slide show. Then I can select a couple of um I can select a couple of pictures to use. So I can go back to my wallpaper and I'll say it should change so I choose a folder. So it will change the pictures from then change picture every every um, 30 minutes. I can say every oh every minute it will change. I can also shuffle it if I want. This slide should run even if I'm on battery. You can do that. Which I usually don't do anyway. So that is that. And then uh, screen saver, you right click on the desktop, go to personalize, then go to lock screen, lock screen, then you can select come down and then select screen saver, screen saver, screen saver. So that is it, this is where you can activate your screen saver. So I can say, if you give me 3D text. So if I say preview, I do this. Windows 10. And you can go to settings and type in your own words. So let's say SIT is my channel name. And then you can do other things, choose font, spin, whatever, large, low, slow, whatever. You can try it out on your own. And then I can preview and see. Wow, -hoo 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 -hoo. it's spinning, so that's how you activate your screen saver. And then you can see on resume display login screen. And check the that one. So, when you leave your machine on, you wait for one minute and then it to start your screen saver. To start your screen saver, after you are done, you can click on apply and okay, or you can click okay straight forward. Then you can also do blank so that the screen will just be blank. You can do bubbles like this. You can do bubbles like this. Bubbles. Bubbles. You can do misty. You can try all the other options. You can do a photo so that when a photo can come, and for each of them, you can go to settings and then tweak it a little bit according to how you, you want it. So that's that. Once you are done, you just click on OK to save, and that is it. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel so that every time there's a new video you'll be the first to know also click on the notification bell thank you for watching